Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for watching. If this is your first video with me, my name's Prince Aaron. I'm a personal trainer nutritionist. The purpose of this video is me getting back into shape. So I moved to Houston a couple months ago. Uh, the transition was a lot harder than normal. So I didn't work out as much as I should have the past couple months. I'm trying to get back into shape. A lot of times in the past, I've made the mistake of picking up where I left off, or should I say, trying to pick up where I left off body is crazy sore in the beginning. Uh, working out is important, but I do have other things I need to do in life. So whenever I jump back into it, I might have a good workout one day. Depending on how hard I work out, the next two or three days, maybe even the next five days aren't the same because I worked out way harder than I should have. So now I'm gonna ease into it. For starters, this is my routine for getting back into shape. You should not do something just because you see me do it. Again, I've already been in shape before and I'm a personal trainer. Now, having said that, a lot of the things you see me doing now, I'll also be doing in the future. My actual workouts now might be my warm up for future workouts as I start to upgrade. I'm gonna take y'all through my schedule. I don't have a set schedule. I try to listen to my body, see how I'm feeling, but I do have set workouts that I'm going to do. And even if I skip a day or so because I want more rest, doesn't mean I'm gonna pick up on, let's say I work out chest on Monday and then I miss leg on Tuesdays. Over the course of the month, if you've missed two Tuesdays, you've missed working out your legs twice. Whereas if I miss a day, I'm gonna pick up where I left off. So I don't have set days, but I do have workouts I try to get through. I'm gonna take you through that schedule and then for today, my first workout back, I'm gonna do some foam rolling. I'm also gonna take you through the tools I use to foam roll. All right, so before we jump into the schedule, it's important to note that depending on what your goals are, you're gonna work out differently. Some people wanna lose weight, some people wanna gain weight, some people wanna get stronger, faster, whatever it is, the getting back into shape is kind of well-rounded, but it does lead into my future, so for me, I am more concerned with sports performance and being able to function. So that's why things are set up the way they are. Starting off with the foam rolling. Foam rolling is not as demanding on my body as other things. So it's used more to repair myself from the workouts. It's very good for starting off because before I start moving or lifting weights, I wanna make sure that my muscles are performing properly. So I'm gonna start off with foam rolling. That's why I'm doing it today. From there, this is not in any order, but from there, I have lower and upper weights. That means I'm gonna lift weights from my upper body and my lower body. A lot of people have different breakdowns, how they break up their days of the week. Um, if all you do is lift weights, then you're gonna break down all the muscle groups over your week. I mix in a lot of things. These are all the things I mix in. So I don't get to lift weights every day. I keep it simple. I do upper and lower. From there, yoga. Also, even though I haven't been working out like I should the past couple months, I make sure I do yoga and foam roll. So if I don't do anything else, I'm gonna do my stronger yoga. That's the type of routine I do. Mobility. You have different muscles, but all of those muscles work together in different muscle slings. So basically the whole body is connected and I do mobility drills to help with my movement. Uh, neck. So just like lower and upper body, in the beginning, I'm gonna be doing some days where I just work out my neck muscles. That's big because I neglect working out my neck in general. Core, core workout is basically, I know a lot of people say they have an ab day, but I work out all of that, the abs, back. If we're gonna break down the body, I have my limbs, which is my arms and legs, and then all of that is connected to the core. Now, most of the exercises I do when I'm training weight is gonna work the core, but then I also have exercises, or should I say days, where I specifically target the core. So it's hard for me to work out my upper and lower body without working the core, as well as it's hard to work my core without using my upper and lower body. But I do try to target it as much as possible. Hit. That stands for high intensity interval training. That's how I do all of my cardio. I don't do the uh, traditional like 30 minutes at the same pace. I like to go very intense, low intense, mix that up at different rates. Plyometrics, so I have two different types of plyometrics. The lower body is gonna help me run faster and jump higher. Of course, when you're running, you use a lot of your arms as well. So the upper body plyometrics is gonna help me run faster too. 
not as much as the legs because running is leg dominant, but it's gonna help me run faster and throw farther and hit harder. And then finally, there's speed, agility, and quickness. Those are three different things. So speed is my top speed, I guess you could say, how fast I can run. Quickness is gonna be that initial burst in the beginning. So if you're thinking about distances, quickness is maybe my first one or two steps. And then speed is maybe after I've been running 40 yards from 40 to 50, how fast am I going? And then there's also agility, which is how fast I can change directions. So I know I kind of went over all these fast. We'll go into more detail in other videos. Just wanted to break down my schedule for y'all. So if you're confused about anything, it's my fault. I didn't really go into detail on this because that's not the point of this video. So those are all the workouts I do. I would like to add swimming in there. I don't really swim good enough for a workout. So I need a swim coach to help me with that. Uh, maybe at some point in the future, I'll start throwing in some long distance endurance days. Other than that, we're gonna go ahead and get into the foam rolling. We call it foam rolling when we're talking to the general public, people that don't really uh, know a lot about fitness and we're just trying to get them into it. So you've probably, or you've hopefully at least heard the term foam rolling, but it's really self myofascial release. So the muscles get tight for different reasons. Some muscles are tight because they're overworked. Some muscles are tight because they're not worked enough. So if you've ever tried working on ice, your body clenches up because it doesn't want you to get in a vulnerable position. So sometimes we'll be tight thinking we worked out too hard, but really there's a muscle imbalance somewhere and we haven't worked that out enough. So I have a bunch of different tools I use for quote unquote foam rolling. Only one of them is an actual foam roller and I don't even use that one anymore. So it started off with just this. We call it a foam roller because it's covered in foam and it rolls. If you're new to foam rolling, you wanna start with this because it has a lot of cushion and when your muscles are new to it, it's gonna be very tender. Uh, this one has grooves in it, as you can see, all different types of grooves. Um, some of them are just flat. Like I say, the human body is very complex. So all of the tools I show you are necessary. I don't really use that one because I've been foam rolling for a long time. I skipped the foam and I went straight to the PVC. That was uh, after my body got used to the foam run. I have different sizes I use for different things. They actually make more than these. I could get some different ones, but this is good for the moment. Got the really big one for the larger muscle groups or if something is just very tight and then I go down in size, it gets a little more intense. And then, like I say, different sizes work better for different muscle groups. If I'm laying on my stomach trying to foam roll my neck, this one is way too big. I might start with this size and then move down. Whereas my back, if I'm really tight, I'll start with this one, go through all of them. Sometimes I use the two small ones at the same time and it just hits the muscles different. Uh, like I say, the body is crazy complex, so we gotta hit it different ways. I got this one for my shins. Um, I kind of put my shins in between here and foam roll that. Um, it does feel different on my back when I foam roll through here. I don't use this one too much unless it's on my shins though. Moving over here, we got a foam pad. So uh, in t foam rolling, we use it to, I guess, roll out the knots in our body. But then I also use this pad up against the wall or down on the ground. Sometimes we have tight knots that we need to roll out, but then also the muscles are overlapping each other. So sometimes the muscles just need to be pulled apart from each other and I'll use this. Let's just say that this is my body. I'm laying on my back with my face up. I'll lay with my back on this and move my body, sliding it across. That way the different layers of the muscles can pull apart from each other. I actually have another one that I use similar to that. This is a lot more firm than this one, but it doesn't cover up a lot of space. So I may start with the muscle group on this one. And then after it gets loose, I'll switch over to this to kind of target the muscles from there. So we got foam rollers, foam pads, and then to really target the muscles, we got some balls. I'll start with, actually I'll start with the basic one. This is a lacrosse ball, or real quick I'll say that 
the different balls can be used for different things uh, the ball that's really really firm is good for getting out knots in my legs but at the same time the muscles in my face are super sensitive so I don't see it at the moment but oh here it is this one is super super soft I may use this one around the muscles like around my eye socket or in my face so two different balls about the same size but this one's crazy hard and this one's super soft then we have what most people will call a double lacrosse ball you can get two lacrosse balls and put tape in the middle or you can just buy one of these um, like I say kind of similar to that one in that they're both extremely firm but you'll notice when you use the double one it works things very different from there uh, the balls come in different sizes so this is a softball, but it's also a lot bigger. Just depends on what I'm trying to work. I also have some flossing tape. So if you have not heard of flossing, you wanna Google that. But flossing is going to, I'll basically use this band. You can use it on all muscle groups. I'm just using my ankle as an example right now. Later on, I have a video talking about it more in depth, but I would wrap my ankle up with this and then move my ankle around take the band off that's going to cause all the blood in my body to rush to my ankle that increases the healing of my in this case my ankle a lot faster that one's super super good it gets you results very fast so if you just type in flossing exercise it should pop up this is a racquetball so it's firm like the lacrosse ball but then it also has a little give to it so that's gonna hit the muscles different from those. This is a, another, I don't know, are these both? They can't, oh, may, maybe this one's a handball, one's a racquetball, not sure. But I use both of those. All right, so these are some bands by my favorite pump chasers. Uh, these are some short bands, they go around the legs. I can use that to strengthen up my legs, like I say, Sometimes your muscles are tight because you use them too much. Sometimes they're tight just because they are uh, weak. So I use that to strengthen muscles. And then I also have these small bands uh, similar to the bands that go around my legs. I can use these to strengthen my upper body. I say strengthen, our goal is not to uh, get strong as if we were moving weights. So when we lift weights, we kind of use all of the muscle groups. And then with these, I can uh, really target down the uh, accessory muscles. All right, so this is, it wraps around my ankle. Uh, I can either use the bands at my house or a lot of times, actually you'll see a workout in this series where I hook the cable machine up to this and I'm gonna do some different accessory lifts. We call them accessories. Um, a lot of people train the larger muscles, but they forget to train the little ones. We can't train the little ones like we train the hard ones. I'm sorry. We can't train the little ones like we train the big ones. So we got to hit those differently. This, uh, I accidentally took that from a gym to wrap up my hair one day. I've never used it. I'm not sure what it's for. All right, so this is a smaller band. Very lightweight. I used to have a lot more of these. Uh, you can do Pilates with these to strengthen up the muscles. These are some hand grips. I can wrap one end of the band to this. Another end is gonna go in the door. This is what it looks like when it is anchored in the door. So if I open up the door, I don't know if I can do this with holding the camera. I'll put this part in the door. Close the door. And now I can pull on the bands. So whatever exercise I'm doing, I might put it up high, I might put it up low. You will see over the next couple weeks as I show you how I really use it. Uh, this is actually the band I tie to the harness when I do my neck exercises, or should I say that's just the last band I use when I did my neck exercises. Uh, I got the smaller ones, got heavier ones, or actually, sometimes when I start, I might go light and then switch to a heavier one. Uh, I think that is almost it. Yeah, that's almost it. So that's everything for the self myofascial release. Of course, I got my yoga mat over there. That's really good for it too. 
So these are the things that I use. They do have other tools out there that you can use. I kind of just pick these up over time and they work pretty good for me. But I'm not gonna show y'all me actually foam rolling or doing the self myofascial release techniques right now. I will have videos in the future. This one's already getting kind of long. And I kind of just wanted to introduce y'all to this series and of course uh, show y'all day one kind of the possibilities of day one. I'm probably gonna do uh, a little bit of everything, just a little full body. And then like I say, every day I will do a little foam rolling or self myofascial release depending on what my workout is. I'll actually target the area that I'm gonna be using the most. But if you have any questions before I post those videos, uh, hit me up. I would definitely love to help you. Until then, y'all have a good one. I'm gonna get into this workout.